Hey, what's going on guys? Gomagigans here. No, I'm not gonna be playing piano in this video, so no worries, calm down. However, I've created a Python script that allows to automate the key presses on my laptop to mimic as if I've been playing a piano. So, let me uh, introduce the virtualpiano.net to you. So the idea is very simple. I can just, hold on a sec, I can press the keys and this results in the sound, right? And uh, regarding the notation, this side has the notation for sounds in not, not a musical format, but just a bare uh, kind of uh, keys to press. So the uh, pure Kobachikin's approach to music, I, I would say. And if we have chords, we have kind of two keys been pressed together. So like this. So just we can, we can press whatever two keys simultaneously. I'm not a musician, so I'm sorry for this uh, horrible sound. And also, in order to handle the delays, I mean, like, the length of the note is not handled like it's usually normally done in music, but uh, here is the symbol, this kind of or symbol, which uh, mimics the delay. So if we process this sort of attack within the Python script and use the, uh, the package that is called PyAutoGUI, which I've been introducing in the previous video, we can mimic uh, the play on a piano. So let's quickly have a look at the source code that I've created. It's quite pretty uh, simple. So we have a custom delay. Uh, we have a time to slip before we start uh, running our script, just to make sure that we navigate to to this to this website here. So as long as we we are right over in here, and the uh, system uh, key press events will start occurring, it would result in playing the music. Okay. So this is the core idea. And then what, what are we gonna be doing next? So uh, we have the, we need to open the file. I'll call this file shit.txt. Here is the file. And here I've pasted uh, just a part of, of, a, of a sound. So the sound I've used here uh, is performed by one of, my, one of my favorite South Korean pianists. Uh, his name is Yoroma. And the song is named River Flows in You. I really love this song. And it sounds pretty nicely here. Uh, so let's, let's have it, let's, quickly have a look at the source code so we need to so we have an index pointing to every single element here within the uh within our text so we need to distinguish between uh letters and digits which are supposed to be uh which are assumed to be like uh notes so uh, whenever we hit a uh, like the letter or uh a digit it's uh it's a sort of note in the music if we encounter, we also need to parse the square brackets, which means that we are in the chord territory, so we need to parse all the chords, that, uh, all the notes we have there, and then we need to press them simultaneously because this is the chord, right? So in order to press the chord, I'm using this uh, tiny little hack using the uh, Python, uh, the embedded Python fun function called exact. So I, I execute the line of Python code here. So that's, that's kind of how it works. And also, after uh, whatever note has been played, either either a single note or a chord, uh, I need to I need the delay. So this is the way how to mimic the length of a single note. Okay, and then I just uh, in, uh, increment the index. So just kind of skip into the next note. Okay. So the very last thing that we can occur uh, that that we can encounter in this sort of a uh, source code source music shit is this or symbol, and in this case, I'm multiplying the delay by eight. This is experimental, and I need to say that it's not perfect from the t uh, from the terms of, uh, from the tempo perspective, and I mean, like, the rhythm is not always that great. Uh, and also another little issue when I'm recording this, it doesn't sound that nicely as it sounds when I'm not recording, probably because of my video recording software or something, but at very least, uh, I can give you an idea, like a proof of concept idea of how this thing kind of works. So without further ado, let's actually listen to beautiful music. So I need to, so let's clear the screen here and I will now run my script. Okay. So it tells me to navigate to virtual piano, wait until five seconds and here we go.
well this is it so when the script is done it just uh, just exits and that's kind of it so I don't know how impressive this was for you guys but for me personally this is absolutely amazing thing because uh, I was uh, I was dreaming to learn to play piano once I learned to play a single uh, a single sound but as far as I didn't have piano I didn't have uh, an ability to practice but with this uh, Pyoto GUI automation uh, package this library it allows me to touch the piano with the code so it's a very very interesting feeling I, I need to say so I would have been working this script out a little bit more just to make it a little bit more perfect I need to play around with the delays uh, because you've heard that the rhythm is not really that perfect also obviously it depends on the music sheet on its own so uh, if if this can be altered probably the sound could be better but again like I'm not a musician I'm, I'm not a musician so I can't really go for altering this uh, this sort of a music shit. Okay, so I just can uh, write a better code to process it more precisely. So that's kind of the idea. So as you can see, the source code is really miserable. So not really that many code, that much code here. And this code would be available on GitHub, so you can download it, uh, pip install py auto GUI, and then run run it as a regular Python script. Then you just need to navigate to virtual piano. And wait for a beautiful for a, for a beautiful music to come. If you want to come up with a uh, different sounds, you can search within Virtual Piano on its own. And this sort of annotation, whatever sounds would be found on VirtualPiano.com, should be comfortable with this sort of a script. However, uh, again, I'm not responsible for the quality of this because uh, again, it's just it's very experimental. It's kind of proof of concept state at the moment. So. We'll see if I can improve it. So if I will, if I if I would be able to improve this a little bit more, I'll make another video showcasing how this thing kind of works. Well, okay, guys, this is it from my side. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, and take care.